stay tuned after this brief message from Airbus Helicopters. Expo 2015 this year, we're in, we've enhanced Garmin Pilot to incorporate some new helicopter features that are tailored to helicopter operators. Uh, one of those features includes helicopter route charts for eight major metropolitan areas in the United States, and also the ability for helicopter operators and also fixed wing operators to identify the highest obstacle along their route of flight. So if we leave the rich dynamic mapping and transition over to the VFR sectionals, then overlay the US VFR helicopter charts and pan over to one of the eight major metropolitan areas. In this case, Houston is a part of those helicopter route charts. And we zoom in here. These route charts incorporate uh, routes that are often flown by helicopter operators in these urban environments. In addition to these helicopter route charts, we've also incorporated Gulf of Mexico VFR charts. So if we pan out here, zoom in over the Gulf of Mexico, we can see all those black dots represent those oil drilling platforms. And again, these are for VFR operators. For IFR operators, we also incorporate the Gulf of Mexico IFR charts. Another exclusive feature that Garmin Pilot offers with the latest update is the ability to identify the highest point along a route. If we go into the flight plan page and build a basic flight plan, we're in Orlando now. We'll jump up to the Orlando Sanford Airport here. We have our moving map down here, but we also have our trip summary page here, which also which defines our aircraft and our airspeed and our altitude, which can also be changed within by touching that field. But more importantly, the highest point field gives us a clear definition of the highest point along our route between Orlando and Orlando Sanford. Touching that field gives us information such as elevation, both in MSL and AGL, uh, latitude and longitude coordinates. We also get op the option or receive the option to display it on the map. So we can zoom in on the map here and see that that obstacle that's 430 feet MSL is just south and east of the Orlando airport. Another unique feature that's exclusive to locating the highest point along a flight plan is the opportunity to define the corridor width. Right now we're only looking at two nautical miles either side of our flight plan route. We can actually expand that and tell it we want to look 20 nautical miles either side. And in doing that, you may have noticed that the altitude field actually turned red as did the highest point field, which indicates that the highest point along our route is actually more than our planned um, altitude that we, that we plan to fly. That obstacle also turns red on the moving map page, so it's really easy to identify where that's at. Garmin Pilot's really an all-in-one inclusive app, whether you're a fixed wing pilot or a helicopter pilot. And for helicopter pilots, it really gives them access to a lot of different information, including those helicopter route charts and unique exclusive features, such as the opportunity to identify those obstacles along your route. Um, Garmin Pilot really allows you to take all of that pre-flight planning before you even go to the airport, have access to that information, and then when you get to the airport, you're well prepared with all the information you need to make your flight. Any customer can go to the Apple iTunes store and download Garmin Pilot free for 30 days and then at that point they can purchase a subscription starting at $74.99. The Aero 795 and 796 will also feature the capability to incorporate helicopter route charts in an April time frame. The Aero 795 and 796 is one of our GPS portables that pilots can incorporate into the aircraft similar to a tablet.